when you put your home on the market, there are some privacy concerns you need to be aware of. Our expert has all the do's and don'ts this morning. Well, selling a home can be just as stressful as moving out of one once the deal is done. Allowing strangers to tour a home while the seller is away can open people up to some very unnerving safety concerns. Valley real estate expert Holly Henbest has some important safety tips we're going to want to keep in mind when we put our home on the market. When your home is listed for sale, it's important to ensure that your privacy and safety are protected. There are several steps you can take to ensure that. The first step, though, will be provided by your realtor. Typically, when your home is listed for sale, a lockbox will be put on the home by your realtor. That lockbox will hold the keys to your home so that when buyers and their agents come to look at your home, they'll have access. We highly recommend you talk with your realtor about what type of lockbox they'll put on the home. These are issued for realtors only and have an electronic tracking of who's in and out of your house. Getting a lockbox with realtor tracking on it is highly beneficial and we recommend that before you get one at any hardware store. If you get one of these types of lockboxes, you'll have no idea who has the codes, the numbers, and who's been in and out of your home. There's absolutely no tracking. Inside your home, you want to make sure you take steps to maintain your privacy. For instance, if you have a home office, you want to make sure that you keep any personal documents out of view, such as your mail and even documents on your computer. So make sure your computer is turned off. If you have a calendar, you'll want to make sure that that's put out of view as well. For those of you that may still have an answering machine, make sure you turn the volume off. All too often, we can be walking through a home and hear personal messages being left on your home answering machine. If you have a printer or fax machine, you also don't want to leave documents in view there. When buyers are touring your home, they're going to look in literally every room of the house, including the bathroom, and oftentimes medication is kept in your bathroom. So if you have any, you want to make sure it's tucked out of view. They're not only going to be looking at the room, but they're sure to open your medicine cabinet and your drawers. When it comes to medication, I recommend finding a safe and secure location for them that's hidden out of view. If you have children in your home, you'll want to make sure you also take steps to protect their privacy. Keep in mind that photos will be taken of your home and splashed across the internet. So if your children's name is painted or displayed on the walls of your room, you want to make sure you remove that prior to any photos being taken. As people are walking through the home, if they can see anything personal about your children, now is the time to remove it from their room. After showings, it's important as a homeowner when you get home to check and make sure that your home was properly secured. So check all of your windows and doors and make sure that they were properly locked. Today we talked about several steps to ensure your privacy and security when your home is listed for sale. You want to make sure your documents are hidden from view. You want to make sure you have a good tracking of people coming through your home. You want to keep in mind your children's privacy. And last but not least, make sure your home is locked up. Holly also recommends locking up any firearms or weapons in a gun safe and ensure any valuables or items that carry a lot of sentimental value are hidden. For more great tips, head on over to Holly's blog, bestinazhomes.com.